Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Wall Street Press Podcast, your go-to source for financial news and investing insights. We're excited to have you join us as we kick off this journey, and we're confident that you'll find our content valuable and engaging. Before we dive into today's topics, we'd like to remind you to please hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest financial news and investing insights. Today, we have some interesting news from Italy regarding OpenAI's advanced chatbot, ChatGPT. Italy has become the first Western country to block ChatGPT, citing privacy concerns. The Italian Data Protection Authority is currently investigating OpenAI for potential GDPR compliance issues. As you may know, ChatGPT has been quite popular since its launch in November 2022, with millions of users taking advantage of its capabilities. However, the Italian regulator has given OpenAI a 20-day window to address these concerns or face potential fines that could be as high as 20 million euros, $21.7 million, or 4% of the company's annual revenues. OpenAI has responded to these allegations, stating that it complies with privacy laws and is actively working with the Italian regulator to resolve the situation. This development highlights the growing concern over the use of AI technologies, as consumer advocacy group BUC has urged both EU and national authorities to investigate chat GPT and Sinwa chatbots. They argue that there is insufficient regulation and potential harm caused by these technologies. It's important to consider the possible implications of this development on open AI and the broader AI industry. If other countries follow Italy's lead, it could result in stricter regulations or even bans, potentially impacting the adoption and growth of AI technologies. This could, in turn, affect the revenues and profitability of AI-focused companies, including OpenAI. Speaking of OpenAI, Elon Musk, who co-founded OpenAI in 2015 and later left the company, has recently approached AI researchers to form a new AI lab to compete with OpenAI's chat GPT. Among those researchers are former DeepMind employees Igor Babushkin and Manuel Kreuz. The new project, a Twitter-based AI initiative, will utilize a large language model, similar to the technology behind ChatGPT, potentially leveraging Twitter's extensive tweet library for training. Musk has invested tens of millions of dollars in GPUs for this project, which will likely be housed in Twitter's Atlanta data center. The investment in GPUs signals Musk's commitment to AI development within Twitter. Possible applications for this AI technology include enhancing Twitter search functions and creating innovative advertising methods. In late March, Musk signed an open letter by the Future of Life Institute calling for a six-month moratorium on AI models more powerful than GPT-4, citing potential risks to human civilization. However, critics argue that Musk's call for a pause may have been an attempt to allow his companies to catch up with OpenAI. As Musk moves forward with the Twitter-based AI project, it remains to be seen whether the new model will surpass the capabilities of GPT-4, potentially contradicting his previous calls for caution. Next on the list of notable events, SoftBank. SoftBank's recent sale of Alibaba shares has caught the attention of the financial world. According to the Financial Times, SoftBank sold around $7.2 billion worth of Alibaba shares via prepaid forward contracts. This move has significantly reduced SoftBank's stake in the Chinese e-commerce giant from nearly 25% to just 3.8%. Three years ago, SoftBank's investment in Alibaba was valued at over $100 billion, making it the company's most valuable investment. However, SoftBank and its Vision Fund have experienced substantial quarterly losses recently due to the tech sector's slowdown and decreasing valuations. In February, the Vision Fund reported a pre-tax loss of 660 billion Japanese yen, about $5 billion, marking its fourth consecutive quarterly loss. This downturn led Masayoshi Sun. SoftBank's founder and CEO, to announce that the company would shift to a more conservative, defensive mode of operation. It's worth noting that Sun had initially invested $20 million in Alibaba back in 2000, helping the startup become one of the world's most prominent tech companies.
Meanwhile, Alibaba announced in March that it would split into six business groups, allowing each unit to receive independent funding and potentially go public. This restructuring aims to unlock shareholder value and increase market competitiveness. It's essential to consider the potential implications of SoftBank's decision on both companies and the broader tech sector. Investors should keep a close eye on the evolving relationship between SoftBank and Alibaba, as well as the impact of the tech industry's slowdown on other major players. IBM is reportedly considering the sale of its weather operation as the technology giant seeks to streamline its business. While still in the early stages, a potential deal could be valued at over $1 billion, with private equity firms being the most likely buyers. IBM acquired the weather company's business-to-business, -business, mobile, and cloud-based businesses, including Weather.com, in 2015 for more than $2 billion. This potential sale aligns with IBM's broader strategy to focus on its hybrid cloud and artificial intelligence business. In recent years, the company has divested or spun off various businesses, including Kendrill Holdings Incorporated, a significant player in its infrastructure and data center management. IBM's market valuation is currently just under $120 billion. The decision to sell the weather unit comes as IBM's shares remain stagnant, trading near levels from over 20 years ago. The company is undergoing a multi-year transformation, aiming to concentrate on its platform-based hybrid cloud and artificial intelligence strategy. This shift has involved job cuts and the sale of healthcare data and analytics assets from IBM Watson Health to private equity firm Francisco Partners. As more companies streamline their operations by divesting or spinning off non-core assets, IBM's potential sale of its weather unit exemplifies a larger trend of businesses adopting more focused strategies. Thank you all for tuning into this episode of the Wall Street Press podcast. We hope you found our discussions insightful and informative.